This is the NVIDIA GeForce 8800 GTS 512 megabyte version. It was released on the 11th of December 2007 and was a mid-range graphics card to replace the older G80 version of the 8800 GTS. This is based on the NVIDIA G92 GPU and uh, it could actually outperform the 8800 GTX in some cases, which is uh, not a very good thing for NVIDIA because the GTX was a higher end car than the GTS. Uh, yeah, so let's. It's pretty old. It's uh, 11 years old now, and uh, let's see how uh, it can perform in 2018. As you can see, when we first got the card, it was pretty filthy, so we need to clean that up before we did anything to it. Before we cleaned it up, the card was not posting, it wasn't giving a signal, but now we've cleaned it up and got rid of all that gunk and dust. Uh, we've managed, it runs a lot better, and it's actually managed to show a signal on screen, so let's get into the benchmarks. Starting off the benchmarks with Fortnite, we got a minimum frame rate of 24 FPS, a maximum frame rate of 62, and an average frame rate of 43.9 frames per second. Quite a respectable result to start things off with. Moving on to GTA 5, but this time at 800 by 600 at the lower settings, we got a minimum frame rate of 48, a maximum of 190, and an average of 73.4 frames per second. A very good result, but remember that this resolution is very low and pretty much anything can handle it at that resolution. In Far Cry 3, we got a minimum frame rate of 2 FPS, a maximum of 30 FPS, and a just below playable average of 23 FPS. Not as good, but there again, this is a pretty demanding game and it wouldn't let me turn the options down, so it is running its pretty high settings. In City Skylines, although it is a more uh, CPU demanding game, we decided to benchmark it anyway. We got a minimum frame rate of 16 FPS, a maximum frame rate of 54 FPS, and an average frame rate of 36.6 FPS. Finally, in 7 Days to Die, we got a minimum frame rate of 51 FPS, a maximum frame rate of exactly 100 FPS, and an average frame rate of 58.7 frames per second. So that's it for today's video, I hope you have enjoyed having a look back at the 8800 GTS 512 megabytes version. If you enjoyed the video, like the shit out of it and subscribe. If you didn't, dislike it and say why in the comments and I hope to see you next time.